And this beauty here will pale in comparison to what heaven truly will be like because we'll be in the glory of God. Hello, this is Mark with Distorted Me, and I am just outside of Sedona. Some people would say I'm in Sedona. I'm actually not in Sedona. But I'm about uh, eight or nine miles probably away from uh, Sedona itself. But as you can see, I'm in a very beautiful area. Uh, this is called Beaver Creek, and it is absolutely gorgeous. So we're having some runoff here because of the snow, and we did have some rain here uh, within the last couple of weeks. But this is all snow uh, melt, what I think. So I, I come to a place like this, and I think to myself, yeah, this is God's creation, no doubt about it. And then there's other people would say, no, it just all happened by chance, and... You know, it took 200 billion years. Zoe, no. Come here. Come here. Come here. So I got a little uh, Portuguese water dog, and she likes water and she likes snow, and she almost jumped in there. So that wouldn't be good. So I got to watch her a little bit. But, you know, Genesis 1 1, you know, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, created space, time, and matter. You're looking at. <laughs> You're looking at matter, you're looking at water, you're looking at the rocks, you're looking at the sky. And it, for sure, uh, brings out, I think, the best in all of us when we can come to a place like this and just enjoy the natural beauty. Zoe, come here. Come here. No, no, we're not going to go in there. It's got to be pretty cold, but she keeps trying to get into the water. She tries to go down in the water, and uh, I don't think she really understands. This is very typical of Sedona hiking. You just kind of have these little walkways that are created. So you know the reason why these rocks are red, I believe the reason they're red is it's from all the iron. So I believe this is all sandstone or limestone. But yeah, that's uh, that's why they're red rock. If I were a bet man, I would say there's a bear probably hibernating in there and we should probably get the heck out of here. Sort of interesting. So we're going through definitely a riverbed here or call it a creek bed, but you can see the water's been in this area as well. Now it's just in the lower portion of the creek, but this is uh, pretty amazing to see it all the way over here. Here it is, water heading down west, headed west actually. And so really uh, gorgeous view, but different. A little bit of red rock. There's a lot of trees down. But I just see this as the majesty of God. God loving us, God giving us these natural things to just come and take a hike. And Zoe, come here, Zoe, come here. No, no, come here. She's uh, getting she's getting more and more bold, so it's going to be a problem. Come here, Zoe. Come here. You're getting to be a little bit. It's going to be a little bit of a problem because she gets more and more comfortable with her surroundings, and then she's going to head off. And this water's moving pretty good, so she would definitely get swept down. I don't know exactly what she'd do, but as I was saying, God gave us this so we could recharge and we could experience His creation in a very natural way, and I love that. Uh, he did that because we need to recharge. Um, someday, in our glorified bodies, we won't have to recharge. Glorified bodies are perfect, not going to need any sleep, not going to need any rest. We're never going to get sick. And how you get there? Jesus. Believe in Jesus. And you get to be with God forever in heaven. I mean, in a glorified body for eternity. And this beauty here will pale in comparison to what heaven truly will be like because we'll be in the glory of God. It tells us in God's word that we'll actually not have the sun because the new heaven and the new earth will actually be lit by the glory of God. There you go. A current word, lit, but it will be lit by the glory of God. Shh. 
just gorgeous. Absolutely. And we're back into it here. The famous Red Rocks of Sedona. Again, I find it hard to believe I've never been here. I will come back. I don't live that far away. He's always having a little water, drinking a little water there. Ooh, it's tasty too, huh? Oh yeah, she's a water dog. She loves snow and she loves water. But this isn't about Zoe. This is about God's creation. I don't know how you can come here and say, yeah, this all happened by chance. It took, you know, 200 billion years, but this is what happened. So I want to leave you with this. Psalm 19.1 says, the heavens declare the glory of the Lord and the sky proclaims his handiwork. Well, this is also God's handiwork because he didn't stop in the heavens and he didn't stop in the sky. He came and he created the heavens and earth without anything. He created it out of nothing. That's what the word tells us. He created everything out of nothing. And he did it in six days. He created space, time, and matter. You got to love God. All right. Thanks for tuning in. I'm just kind of in awe of my surroundings. God bless. Hey.